Martin Hurry, Blues Guitar Hicks. Hey, how's you going, Martin, for the bluesLab.com? Thanks to be here and supporting my work. Today I bring you these 10 tips or 10 suggestions or ideas. Yes, I would love someone taught me 15 years ago or more, yes. These 10 tips are for beginner or uh, intermediate players, yes. Uh, well, I would like uh, to just share with you this information. I hope you like it. Remember, you can visit my Patreon. Yeah, a lot of lessons, leaks, tabs, backing tracks, yeah, uh, for you. So the first tip, which is pretty obvious, but just I find not too many students, they do it. It's listening to music, yeah. You should listen to a lot of music, in this case, blues, if you want to play blues. It's the only way to you can use to learn the language, yeah. The language is in albums. It's not enough to play the scale or to play the right scale or the right chords. You need to understand the language. And we learn the language uh, through the music we listen to, yes. Uh, of course, B.B. King albums, Stevie Ray Vaughan, if you like, Blues Rock, yeah. Ronnie Earl, Duke Robillard, Chris Kane, Kid Ramos, Anson Vandenberg, Freddie King, Albert King, yeah, and blues jazz, yeah, Kenny Burrell, if you if you like blues jazz, are good ideas. Uh, tip number two, it's learning by heart the five boxes of the minor pentatonic scale. We need to know by heart um, the, the, the shapes, the boxes, and what is the root, yes. So if you know what is the root, you can place that scale, that box, in different keys. Remember an advantage of learning guitar, it's you learn shapes and you can move those shapes if you know what is the root, yeah? So, uh, learning by heart the five boxes of the minor pentatonic scale is not only playing box five, box one, box two, box three, it's just, you can, you can overlap them, yeah? I have a, I have a lesson on my Patreon about that, yeah? Overlapping the shapes by four, D, G, C, F. Yes, uh, that will help us to understand how it works, what are the roots, and then if you want to start following the chord changes, that's the key. Eh? Uh, so learn very well by heart in different keys the five boxes of the minor pentatonic scale. Next tip, it's playing not only vertically, but horizontally the scales, yeah, the boxes. You can connect the boxes horizontally, that's great. Even if we play the same notes, the, um, the speech change, yeah? So playing horizontally, an example would be instead this. You could do... Simple example here. Yeah? Instead, um, I don't know uh, this. You could do yes. So take take the, the the leaks and the vocabulary you already know in box one and try to play it horizontally. Yes, yeah, that's a good idea, and you will see how it change. Everything change. Yeah. Another tip is repeating the leaks in different boxes. Yes. So if you have a lot of vocabulary in box number one, which is the most the most common thing, yeah? you can do it. Yes, or you can do. It. Yeah. Yes, you can repeat the same lick in the different five boxes. So immediately you will open your playing, yeah? You will, you will see how you can start unlocking the, the fretboard. Next tip is playing by heart the 12 bar blues. Yeah, that means, okay, take a blues in G and play the 12 bar blues during four minutes, you know? Pretending you are playing a, a song, yeah? 
So for example, in G, like that you know doing the same always don't change your patterns don't change your chords just keep it constant uh, tight yeah in, in tempo and in groove yeah I do the same you know pretending you are playing rhythm guitar for uh, a band or in a band yeah uh, so that's really challenging yeah it's not easy to just keep the, the groove, the, the beat, everything during three, four minutes, which is the, the, the length of a song uh, when you play yeah, on stage. Another tip would be just learning different chord shapes to play blues. Uh, if you are playing dominant blues, okay, seventh like this, seventh, yeah, it could be seventh like this, different fingering. Remember, I have a few lessons about chords on my Patreon. Could be ninth, yeah, it could be thirteenth, could be thirteenth here, yeah, ninth, ninth here, G ninth, G thirteenth, G thirteenth, yeah, G seventh, G ninth again here, with the bass strings, yeah, G seventh here. groups or packs of chords as I used to call it yeah uh, that will give you uh, an extra flavor when you play your blues next tip it's learning the shuffle groove it's a really important groove in blues there are different shuffles you can play depending the style of blues you play but what you can do is just take a shuffle in E that shuffle uh, during a few minutes yeah pretending you are playing a real song then you can play it in A yeah, then you can play in, in different keys in C yeah then you can play with chords shuffle groove it's amazing you know if you can play with chords it will be easier to play lead yes will be easier because you feel the groove yeah? next tip it's learning the microtones microtones are those bendings we play uh, when we use the pentatonic scale, the minor pentatonic scale over dominant chords. Yes, those microtones, I have a lesson on my Patreon about that with a PDF. Uh, that microtones will give you that extra flavor when you want to play blues yeah remember blues uh, it's a style of music we need to play microtones those bendings and uh, guitar is perfect for that yeah so pay attention to the microtones uh, next one is learning intervals on the fretboard it's really important yes when you play scales or chords to know the intervals you are playing uh, that will give you an extra knowledge of the fretboard and then you can start moving the intervals which are the notes yes 
uh, and you can start creating new sounds, changing scales, yeah, pentatonic into more Dorian, yeah. So root, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat seven, yeah. Root, flat third. If I, this is my flat third, I know my major third is right next to it. I will add the six, for example, and the ninth. Intervals is like you are mapping your fretboard. You are using a GPS, will help you to drive better and faster. And the last one is uh, learning dynamics. Dynamics are really important in music in general. In blues are really important, which are dynamics is that the way you pick the notes, the, the volume, yes, that to create that, um, that, uh, atmosphere, yes, of, 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 of cool sound, yeah, so... Ronnie Earl is one of the great, I mean, I love Ronnie and, and his playing and his music, he used dynamics all the time, you know, good players, they use a lot of dynamics, yeah? So thank you very much. Thanks to, to stay here until the end. Remember, you can like and share this video. You can visit my Patreon, all my links here in the description of this video. See you soon.